My presentation will be uh, quite uh, different, but um, uh, I, I, I will take some time to, to, to talk about um, the necessity to rethink tourism. And uh, as it has been said by, by um, other participants, um, the, perhaps the, it is time to a change uh, of uh, the paradigm with, uh, uh, which characterizes tourism. So I, I will go very quickly on, um, on my- We have time. We have plenty of time. Yes. Uh, in, uh, in the short run, I will show that um, innovation have been produced to fight against uh, uh, the difficulties uh, um, on, by the um, tourism sector. But uh, in, in the second part, I will focus on, uh, on um, the, 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 the question to know if uh, the expected recovery of tourism is sustainable in uh, uh, a very specific context, as you know, uh, that is climate change. And um, I, I will focus uh, on the issue uh, to know if a paradigmatic change in tourism is, is required. So I, I will go uh, very quickly on this. Uh, there is effect uh, of the pandemic on tourism, which is very important as we have seen in other cases. But I just want to focus uh, uh, later on uh, on the Paris case um, concerning uh, the, the, the the necessity to fight against a, a pandemic, uh, um, we can use uh, the um, framework of Schumpeter, the framework of Schumpeter, which uh, is uh, a researcher which has written on innovation, and we can distinguish different type of innovation. Of course, technological innovation, process innovation, product innovation, uh, and this uh, technological innovation are more or less radical. There is improvement innovation, some incremental innovation that, that is uh, incremental innovation is innovation that add um, a kind of utility for consumer. There is also new technological paradigm. Of course, innovation in services and organizational innovation. So, what I want to say is that um, perhaps uh, we, are, we, we, we will go to a new technical economic paradigm as uh, Freeman and Perez in 1988 suggest. And uh, this uh, um, technical economic paradigms uh, require that uh, technological innovation fits with uh, institutional uh, in the economy. So if there is some technological innovation, some large techni technological innovation, it is also important that the institution are okay with this technological innovation and the social economic system also uh, must be uh, okay with this uh, technolog te technological change. So uh, I wish just uh, go very quickly on technological innovations that have appeared. Uh, as you can see on this slide, there is a lot of technological innovation concerning uh, um, disaffecting places, uh, uh, sanitizer portal, automatic dispenser of hydroalcoholic gel, some uh, UV purifier in coaches, some thermal cameras, all these are technological innovation for the tourism system, but, but this, this kind of uh, innovation existed before uh, and some, some were used in other uh, sectors. There is also new waves of moving inside the station, for instance, in Paris, Gare de Lyon, the passenger who travel with respect to the road marking circulation. There is also, of course, transparent plates in restaurants that would be installed and placed so as to separate the customer. And also plexiglass beach huts to limit contact between individuals. It is in the short run. There is a lot of numerous of innovation, but there is also service innovation as a totally virtual booking, but also a new client for hotel room, 
For instance, in large metropolis, uh, there is a um, hotel are, are moving to uh, other clients like students, COVID patients, business meeting, and so on. There is also uh, organizational innovation in hotel. That, that is new way of organizing labor in hotel, in restaurant, but also organizational innovation in different territory. There is some collaborative platform projects aiming to share solution, aiming to share best, best practices between tourism stakeholders. And of course, um, there is also a, a need, and it has been said yesterday, that it, it is very important that coordination between different countries to promote solution for safe traveling and not competition, but because there is a, 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 a very important issue to, to, to attract visitors, there is a kind of competition, but beyond competition, it is required that there is also coordination and cooperation. So the context of climatic change, uh, my, my issue is to know if uh, um, the expected recovery of tourism uh, be, uh, will the expected recovery of tourism be sustainable? Sustainable on the long run. Uh, as you know, uh, tourism is both a source of wealth and jobs and a source of negative uh, externalities. Um, tourism uh, uh, contribute to the creation of um, jobs uh, um, in numerous sectors, but uh, tourism, as you know, can also induce uh, the degradation of the natural, material, and cultural heritage, as well as the environment uh, for the inhabitants, and sometimes the, also the degradation of culture. I think that this uh, contradictory aspect is at the heart of tourism. Tourism generates some conflicts linked to over tourism and also uh, generate some conflict due to uh, environmental and social costs. So uh, you, you can see Sacré-Cœur in Paris um, and, and you can see a, a, a picture of urban over tourism, of course. And uh, after that, uh, during the pandemic, uh, as you can see, uh, we, uh, we can see that in Paris, there is nobody. So some, some people say that uh, um, uh, a, a, an old book was Paris and the French dessert in 1946. It was uh, just after the Second World. Uh, well, and now um, it is a uh, French and the Parisian desert. So we can say that uh, a pandemic also changed the place, uh, um, the place of the conflict. There is different impact of a pandemic regarding the type of places. As you can see on this slide, it is the decrease in overnight stay in hotel in Paris by months in 2019 and in 2020. And as you can see, the decrease is a, a very, a very uh, important, uh, and especially during the first lockdown, uh, um, that is in March, uh, in April, and in, uh, in, in May. And the drop is very, uh, important for non-residents. Uh, non-residents uh, non are uh, uh, in purely uh, so. so. Uh, the attendance in Parisian museum and monument uh, also decrease very sharply. As you can see on this slide, there is a, a great decrease uh, of the attendance. The attendance, for instance, in the Louvre Museum, uh, fell um, 66% from January to October to 2020, 2020 uh, compared to the, the, the 2019 uh, results. But uh, 
uh, there is also environmental benefits in cities. As you can see, it is a picture of a, a, a Bruxelles and some ducks, uh, 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 which are in the street uh, in, in Bruxelles. But more uh, important is the environmental benefits in city. As you can see in this on this slide, the um, the emission of uh, uh, NO2, the emission of NO2 has decreased in um, numerous city. As you can see on this slide in Paris, the decrease is about uh, 70%. And in the Parisian metropolis, uh, it's uh, 73%. Uh, so it's very important in terms of environmental uh, benefits. Beyond environmental benefits, um, we can see that there is also an increase in tourism in rural and mountain territory. Uh, after two months of lockdown, uh, tourists were in search for calm, space, nature, and uh, limited travel, as, as it has been said before, limited travel has contributed to the development of new form of tourism. New form of tourism, proximity tourism, a sort of staycation also, I will come back on this. And uh, some specific territory benefits after the, 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 the first lockdown of an increase in, uh, in uh, tourism. So as you can see on this slide, um, the the change in tourism overnight by months and by type of places in France is different according to we, we are on urban places in Ile de France or in uh, around coastline or in ski places. So the departments who are the, the more rural, uh, the departs, mountain department, uh, also are characterized by a decrease, which is more, less important than uh, the decrease we can um, register in, uh, in, um, in urban places and in very uh, urbanized departments. So um, due to this change in tourism places, uh, Conflicts which are linked to tourism are lasting, but in new places. During 2020 summer, uh, over tourism has moved into natural environment. As you can see on this slide, uh, it's a slide of uh, um, Verdun uh, in, in France. And you can see that th th there is a, um, another tourism in, in this kind of, of, of slide. It is also the case uh, uh, in uh, uh, the Cantal. It, it, it is also the case uh, uh, in the plateau uh, Calern, which was uh, locked during the night uh, because of uh, over tourism, too much tourism, too much tourists in these places. Another example is uh, a, a, a small village uh, a small village in France, in Jura, which is near the famous tough uh, waterfall. Um, there is a, a lot of tourism, and the inhabitants of this village, of, of this village, sorry, uh, don't agree with this over tourism, this uh, waves, this wave of tourism. So they uh, they want that the tourists uh, don't come in their place in their village. Uh, and uh, because they don't respect, they don't respect uh, uh, the inhabitant and, and the village. Another example uh, of a tourism in natural places. This is uh, um, the Calanque of uh, Marseille in France. Uh, and there is too much, too much tourist in the Calanque, uh, too much tourists that uh, create uh, very important difficulties in terms of on, environment, uh, um, so there is some strategy of demarketing in a natural environment, environment uh, 
to um, to to make the tourist to make tourists to go um, in other places. But the the issue is to know uh, if the expected recovery of tourism is sustainable. As you can see on this slide. Uh, um, uh, this is a slide concerning the main reason, the reason to air travel. As you can see on this slide, the main reason for air travel is tourism. As you know, we, we, in, in numerous cases, we must take a, 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 a plane to, to go to overseas destination. And as you know, um, air travel transportation is polluting um is, is is polluting and so um if there is an recovery of tourism polluting will uh start to increase uh, again so a paradigmatic change in tourism um what can i say i can say that uh, tourism its characteristics behavior depend on the economic model on which uh, uh, the society is based. Um, I think that the pandemic also reveals uh, the limits of the world economic model, and this uh, world economic model concerns also tourism. Um, what is the, the, the economic model? The economic model is uh, an economic model that uh, is characterized by the liberal liberalization of the economy, uh, by increased mobi mobility of goods and people. Also pressure on the environment consider only as a renewable and substitutable resources. And the, the, the consequence is of course climate change. The pressure on other species in the service of humans but that is partly responsible to the pandemic. Different capitals, economic, social, environmental, supposed to be substitutable, and also significant inequality at different scales, local, national, and international. And perhaps uh, the pandemic is a tool to a more global change. So the question of the future of tourism is the question of the future of our economic model. Are we uh, facing to a new economic cycle, a new industrial revolution, a new technical economic paradigms, as I said uh, before, that is a new model of society. I think that some elements are already present. Of course, there is a speeding up of digitalization. That is, we, we, we Perhaps uh, we can go from physical to digital tourism. There is a speeding up of virtual tourism activities in the long run. As you can see on this slide, uh, you, 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 can, you can see the, the, the Grand Barrier Reef uh, uh, in, virtual, uh, in a virtual um, manner. But uh, um, the, the pandemic, the tourism of tomorrow, uh, depend on the model of society. And uh, the question is to know what will be our economic model tomorrow. If we have the same objective of economic activity, that is a profit, I think that nothing or almost nothing will change. Tomorrow tourism will be yesterday tourism, that is mass tourism, which possible niches for the elite, green tourism, ecotourism in some parts of the world. But uh, this uh, uh, implies that there is also a growing uh, inequality, uh, especially and in particular in tourism. Second possibility uh, is that a change of the economic model with a new objective. So what will be the new objective? The new objective will be the satisfaction of the needs of all today without compromising the possibility of satisfaction of 
or tomorrow. That is, it is very important, and as it has been said before, to take into account people and other stakeholders in our ecosystem, that is the Earth. So if this second possibility occur, probably it is the end of tourism as we know it. But it uh, requires new way of producing goods with short supply chains also in tourism. Um, it's also important to note that this paradigmatic change will change the tourism places and uh, this paradigmatic change will be costly for the tourism sector because uh, um, the tourism sector induces revenue for different types of tourism activity, revenue of different types for different types of film, job and income, of course, for inhabitants. And the par this paradigmatic change will also be costly for tourists, in particular in terms of price of accommodation, but also in terms of the diversity of places uh, um, to visit. More important is that this paradigmatic change requires new tourists and new consumer behavior, that is decrease in mobility, that is relocation of tourism and development of local tourism with soft mode, soft transportation mode, development of tourism at home, that is staycation, development of tourism at proximity, but um, this also imply a decrease of the number of journey uh, and uh, uh, in, in, in one year. Uh, that is, it is the end of city break with low cost flights. Um, and of course, it is abs uh, absolutely required that uh, uh, tourism will be more respectful of the inhabitants, of the places, of the environment of the cultures. In short, um, we can say that uh, uh, the future of tourism uh, must be a more sustainable tourism. This new tourism would allow building tourist territory not only for, for tourists, but also for inhabitants. And just to conclude, um, the second scenario, if it comes true, will take time. And as I said before, it will be costly. But uh, this, this second scenario is linked to the economic model that characterizes uh, society. So as you can see on this slide, my name is Marie and not Irma. So um, I am not clairvoyant. So I, I cannot look into a crystal ball, but uh, uh, the factors, the elements that will conduce to a uh, paradigmatic change in tourism are numerous. As uh, Chris Robert has said before, there is a many elements that can affect the, um, the tourism of tomorrow. But what I, I, I am sure is that to fight uh, against climate change and to build a new tourism for tomorrow requires uh, a world cooperation. Thanks.